The chairman of Lagos State Parks and Garages Management Committee, Muslu Akinsaya, popularly known as MC Olomo, led different groups at a rally on Sunday in support of the presidential candidates of the All Progressive Congress, uh, Asiwaju Bola Tinubu, and his running mate, Senator Kashim Shetima. Now, the rally was also organized in support of the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sonwolu, and his deputy, Dr. Bafemi Hamzat, for their re election next year. Various Bola Ahmed Tinubu support groups in Lagos have described the Mammoth's crowd that turned out at the rally as a sign that the party's candidates popularly, uh, or popularity, I beg your pardon, and dared other parties to do the same. The Solidarity Walk was attended by MC Olomo himself, along with a large number of supporters and Nollywood actors, as thousands of participants converged at the Teslim Balogun Stadium uh, in Surulere and walked to the Bolade Oshodi in support uh, of the APC candidates. And we also had security operatives, including operators of the Nigeria Police Force, Department of State Services, and Lagos State Neighborhood Safety Corps. They were also present at the rally um, to protect residents. Um, Joining us um, to speak on this particular matter is a senior advocate of Nigeria, Babatunde Ogala. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Gala, for joining us. Thank you very much. Good evening. It's my pleasure to be with you. Yes. Let's start by talking about the significance of these rallies, because we've seen different political parties stage rallies in support of their candidates. And what this you know, amounts to when it comes to the election day proper um, Again, we've also seen that the APC has postponed the flag off of its um, uh, campaign, as opposed to the PDP, who has flagged off its own today. But let's talk about your party. Uh, what's taking so long, especially with the seven million man march that took place here in Lagos? Should that not have been the flag off of a campaign proper? Well, let me quickly say here, I just hope I got the question right, because um, you are not too clear. Um, the IMEC guidelines are prescribed a certain date, I think precisely 28th of September, for campaigns to take off. Mm -hmm. Before now, a series of persons and some parties had embarked on some war to rally or whatever. But APC has a law abiding situation and party thought it fit to wait and not do anything that was going to have the semblance of a campaign. Um, while others had done that before September 28th, we thought in our wisdom that we should wait for the campaign so, And that is why before yesterday, there have been a series of these works in a Ibadan, the women in Lagos, and yesterday, another, uh, led by one of our supporters, as we say, um, 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 Chief Akifoya, uh, a.k.a. Pilgrim. So what we saw yesterday is not the official party rally. It's just a group of persons who, hello? Yes, yes. Who believe in the leadership, mm -hmm. the capacity, of an Ashwaju Kuala to lead the country who have come out in their millions at their own cost, voluntarily and willingly to say, see us, this is who we are, we demonstrate support for you, we face our work. So what is happening now is that the campaign has officially started and the APC itself is ready to get involved, and it has indeed turned up. Like, like on Sunday, the women had their own work. Um, also in Lagos, we had a number of women, a number of crowd, embarked on a long walk to Lagos to show support for the candidate of the world they call the city one, as you are getting on it. So that is what we say, and that is what you saw yesterday. Which is just a demonstration. I would say in a popular panel, we have still tested the bike. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, I, I, I don't, because you did not hear me at first. So I did say that this was just 
a march, a solidarity march, which we all know is not a campaign per se, even though it has shades of com a campaign. But then we're asking, why is the APC taking long to reel out its campaigns? Of course, many people would say that the campaign trail of the, P the PDP has been rolled out. Of course, it started in Rio today as we speak. But then, of course, um, the postponement of the APC campaign um, came to a lot of people as, shock, as a shock. But then the, the, the vice chairman, the sixth national vice chairman of the party, had said that they want to deliberate on modalities for the proposed APC national conference, which it uh, intends to convene before next year. But while that is being deliberated on, why can't the campaign in itself start? Or are there other things that need to be spoken of that uh, could be a concern? Well, let me quickly say this. I don't know, I don't know what you mean by why it is taking so long. Um, 28th September to today, 10th is only 12 days into a campaign that is going to run until the 24th of February 2023, which is a clear format. Mm -hmm. The campaign process for us is not a sprint. It is a marathon. Mm -hmm. And if you are involved in a marathon, you must develop, you must devise strategy, you must plan, you must outsmart your opponent, okay. so you don't go on a sprint and burn yourself out. Mm. Only this afternoon, this morning through afternoon, I mean, the APC Women Campaign Council was presented to the public and launched with um, uh, our excellent Aisha Buhari. He didn't say, along with the wife of our presidential candidate and vice presidential candidate, we are a candidate for president. In fact, for those who have been saying, Oh, he's not talking, he's not talking. They saw him on TV today. And we are waiting for them to form this presentation. For those who are even suggested, oh, he's sick, he's safe. And what are you? Mm. They saw him on his four feet stretching his arms. At least he didn't come here in a wheelchair, mm. not on crutches, neither on his stretcher. So our own campaign, we are devising our own strategy. Okay. And it is not for us. To say because Party A has beaten the gun and started its campaign even before the time allowed against the spirit of the law that we also do today. So we are certainly not out of time. We are certainly not, we are not taking too long. We are only being strategic. Okay, I, I quickly I quickly want to take you on on when you say when you say that the party A has beaten the gun. I mean, like you've been yeah. mentioning over and over in the conversation tonight, twenty eighth of September was the day for the kickoff, and of course the PDP only started its campaign today. So I do not understand what you I mean by I, them beating I, the gun I, again. I, I, I know. I, I, I didn't mention party. I didn't mention PDP. I know. I but, didn't mention any party. But I, you are also. But I'm uh, curious. That's why we had a certain political party had been going around doing work and matches. The presidential candidate at the same rally spoke to the thing that outside the country over the past three months. So, I mean, I didn't mention any party, but whoever the cap fits can just pick it up and wear it. Great. Let's quickly yeah. let's quickly so, move away from that and so, talk about the internal what, party democracy. Uh, what's happening within the APC? Uh, let me just drag you what, a bit away from the campaigns into the issue uh, of. Can you hear me? Uh, is there, is there issue of what? The issue of the Muslim Muslim ticket, which has also made certain persons in the party take a stand, saying that they will not support your candidates. Um, does this mean that there's a crack in the party? And you know, I'm, I'm talking about the former SGF, Baba Chair Lawal, and the former Speaker of the House of Representatives. Um, these two uh, gentlemen. Let me come in here. Okay. We should talk about the distraction about two individuals in a party as black as the PC. And I was really impressed today. They said a certain group of Northern uh, Christians. With the two gentlemen you have mentioned being present, 
But look at the roll call there. It was a PDP meeting. Oh, why should that be part of this? I think, I think how, we are... How do you mean it's a PDP, it was a PDP meeting? We only three, four individuals. There are only three, four of them. We have Babachi David, Dogara, uh, one senator, and um, my learned brother and colleague, uh, and Bala, who has not been met as a PDP spokesman. I mean, that those the only four Christians in ABC. <laughs> In but, the whole of the northern region. So you're saying that these people do not represent. So I think, so I, I, I think we should. We don't want to get distracted. We are issue oriented. We are not going to discuss individuals. We are not going to discuss their political strength or their significance. But they are, it is unnecessary distraction for us when you keep referring to. I mean, just in my just picture, the valuable time you meet this pain discussing. Uh, whether they are made through with their new so, party Mr. Member, Gala, I, as much as I, I think know we that, focus on our issues. Yes, I agree that your time is valuable, but quickly, you're saying that these gentlemen do not represent a group of people who are aggrieved within your party, and so that whatever that is their issue should be glossed over because, you know, there are more, more important so, issues? My dear, which party are there no agreement? In the PDP today, at least five sitting governors are still opposed to the candidature of of their presidential candidates, led by Governor Wiki, Governor Autumn, Governor Mackinde, Governor Kweazu, and Governor Wine. Five governors in the Labour Party. As of today, there is a discussion in court between two factions as to who even is the authentic chairman of the party or of the presidential candidate. And so it is in MNPP amongst several others. Even action alliance, oh, let, let us let this issue. Uh, I mean, in APC today, other than this four person that you have mentioned, please tell me, where yeah, else are we talking about the topic? And to do must we also get it clearly. When people keep saying, oh, the cafe council, many people are complaining. What does that tell you? When you see a ship that seems such a big way to get to a destination, you see a party and a candidate that is looking forward, that is looking good to win the elections. Everybody wants to be on that moving train. Okay. And, and when, that is what we have. And when you say everybody, so you if there are a group of joking, people... I'm, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, Mr. Gala. I'm yeah. so sorry to speak over you. I'm so sorry, but I need to ask you this question. I agree with most of the things that you're saying, but when you say that it's a moving train and that every other party has its problems, but then we're talking about the APC, your party. We're not concerned about what's happening in the PDP. The PDP will deal with its problem, but the APC, your candidate, is supposedly representing, running to be president of Nigeria, not the president of those who support him, right? So if there be a group of people who feel aggrieved, should those people not be addressed? Because, I mean, it sounds like you're saying we couldn't be bothered about them. We have a, a bigger fish I to you know, said, deal with. I have not said that it's a thing. Every member, every voter, every supporter is valuable to us. And we take nobody for granted. All I have said is our four brothers, or two four brothers, who are now making a lot of work, we have to say, look, are we going to sacrifice the majority because the minority? So we are not saying, we hope, and we pray. Yes, yes. And so that, that this moving train. We hope so. We are not saying we are taking them for granted. We are there still our friends, they are not the patrons. Please, we, would, we are not taking everybody for granted. We want everybody to be including yours. Including the Matipo Abu Bakar. We want everybody's votes. We just pray, and as we go along, that they will see the light, and Peter will be APC. And Matipo Abu Bakar will vote for APC, and I'll try to say that is our hope, that is our wish. And we keep campaigning and pleading to them to see that this city boy is not the best for this country at this time. Well, those are very high hopes. Those are very high hopes, Mr. Gala, and I, 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 I wish you all no, the best. I mean, and I wish your campaign team the best. We are thinking big. We okay. hope for the best. We hope for the sky. Exactly. The sky is not a limit for us. We want to go beyond the sky. And that's and what the we, we, we believe it can happen.
Okay, and that's why I'm wishing you and your campaign team the best. Um, Babasunde Ogala is a senior advocate of Nigeria and also a member of the All Progressive Congress. Thank you so much for speaking with us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. And thank you all for joining us on the show tonight. That's the show. We will be back tomorrow, same time, 7 p.m., with the best in politics. Don't forget... Go get your PVC. If you registered between June and July this year, your PVC is ready. Go to the local government, the nearest local government area uh, to you and pick up your PVC because that's your passport to next year's election. I am Mary Anakon. Have a good evening.